What's up guys, Ovidov here. In this video we're going to be talking about Redstone, the upcoming Redstone Expedition campaign and the Ambassador program. As usual, links are in description, but follow them at your own risk. So Redstone is a modular Oracle solution for all major L1 and L2s. Project raised 7 million in seed round and also undisclosed amount in the angels rounds. So these are the angels, all well-known people in the industry. First, let's check announcement about Redstone Expedition campaign and then we'll dive into your ambassador program as these are connected. So first Redstone campaign, from what I've read, it's a bit similar to the Super Oracles campaign which is also Oracle solution. If you haven't registered for Supra Oracles, if you can pass the KYC, I sincerely recommend you to do so because they're giving away some tokens, points. All you have to do is basically log in, complete the weekly quiz, uh, get the points. Uh, sometimes you get the tokens from the crate. So pretty easy overall. And I covered that in short in one of the previous videos. I will link that one in description as well. But this video is about Redstone. So let's dive into that. First, we have a system of redstone gems or RSG in short. These are activity points from participating in this campaign and collecting more of them allows you to get a high reward at the end of the campaign. And you can earn these points by participating in the upcoming seasons, staying active on social channels, engaging in on-chain activities, becoming a redstone miner this is the best in the program that we're going to touch on and then joining galaxy campaigns obviously and here we have the structure of the expedition the exact launch date of the campaign has not been announced yet but currently we have this uh, structural map where we can see that first part of the campaign is going to be galaxy campaigns then we have introduction of rsg then official launch and after the official launch obviously seasonal structure so that's currently all information regarding the expedition itself again we're gonna wait on further update on this front now let's dive into the ambassador program so there are five tiers in this ambassador program the first two tiers is pretty much everybody can get those by just doing simply social tasks Onboarding is super simple, you just join the Azili, join the Discord and follow on Twitter obviously. And once you join socials, you can already become the first level or digger. Then in order to get the second level, you just need to complete the quiz, get some experience on Zili so you can unlock the quest itself and then you can just pick up this role. As you can see here, there are no other requirements other than hitting a certain level. Obviously, since there is pretty much no barrier to entry for these two tiers, uh, benefits going to be fairly modest. You're only getting some RSG points because the real engagement in the ecosystem starts from tier 3. This is going to be Vein Master. Here in the benefits, alongside with RSG, you're also getting redstone token incentives upon launch, obviously. But here, in order to get the Vein Master, you will need to engage with the community, get to high level on the Zilli, and also potentially create some content uh, about the project. And on top of that, if we check this role quest on Zilli, we can see that you also will need to submit the application form. If you want to go even deeper from tier 3, tier 4 is deep miner, obviously higher requirements, your applications will be assessed in one-on-one -on -one meeting, also a lot more requirements, responsibilities, but also a lot more benefits along the way. And the last tier here is going to be Mine King, this is basically elite, working very closely to the Redstone team, benefits includes preferential terms, potential to get a full-time job, getting access to exclusive events, and representing the project in the Web3 community. Again, more information is going to be available on this article. I'm going to link this one in the description. Uh, also, obviously, when you join the Discord, you can find tons of information there in the discussions. You can ask questions. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. When Redstone Expedition launches, I will be covering that either in separate videos or maybe in drips. We'll see. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you found the video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, shoot them down below and I'll see you soon.